So like I was trying to come up with an intro for this video and I was having a hard time like oh my god I, I I'm not going to do the whole review in that voice don't worry Valley Girl is a remake of the 1983 film and stars Jessica Roth as Julie, a popular high schooler in her final semester dating an equally popular but arrogant jock played by Logan Paul. One day at a party she meets a punk musician named Randy played by Josh Whitehouse and the two fall for each other. However, this is met with disapproval by both their friends and family and they now have to choose if they want to risk everything to stay together. I know the original Valley Girl is a cult classic and a lot of people like it but I didn't particularly care for it. To be fair, I watched it a long time ago, and at the time I dismissed it as just another 80s movie. I did want to give it another shot before watching this remake, but I just didn't get around to it. At some point I will. Anyway, this version is a jukebox musical told through flashbacks as an older Julie, played by Alicia Silverstone, tells the story to her daughter, all set to 80s pop music. And this was a clever choice, for two reasons. One was the casting of Alicia Silverstone, who once played a valley girl type in the 90s in Clueless. So it was a fitting choice to have her in this role. She seemed like she had a lot of fun with this, and anytime the older Julie spoke fondly of her high school days, I immediately thought of Cher Horowitz from Clueless. And Alicia Silverstone still had a little bit of that same energy here, so it was a fun nod. The other reason was that the narrative framing is very similar to another 80s movie, The Princess Bride, which I don't know if that was intentional or not. But for those not familiar with that movie, it's framed as a grandfather telling a story to his grandson. And if there were parts of the story the grandson didn't like, he would interrupt them. And this would take a very similar approach. Julie's daughter would interrupt parts of the story, her eyes would roll, she would call certain parts cringy or cheesy. There was a lot of poking fun at the original movie, as well as 80s culture in general. It acknowledges how goofy movies like the original can be, and how dated certain aspects of 80s culture was. Between the clothes and the lingo, among many other things, it lovingly jabs at it all. And that's more or less how I describe the tone of the entire movie. It's very well intentioned, meant to be this innocent, loving tribute to the 80s, embracing the fun parts while laughing at the sillier aspects. It's shot exceptionally well. The color palette is bright and the costume design is on point. It felt like an HD version of an actual 80s movie, and it kept in the spirits of that feel-good teen comedy vibe from 80s movies. Some of the interactions between the high schoolers, like you have the jocks and the popular girls running the school, it gave me a very Breakfast Club vibe, or really any John Hughes type of movie. And the cast was solid. Jessica Roth is a vastly underrated talent. I first saw her in the Happy Death Day movies and she's a big part of why they work so well. She can give a gleefully over-the-top performance but remain very charismatic and at times endearing. And she brings a lot of that same energy here. Seeing her engage in valley girl speak was amazing and very funny. Yet she never goes into full-on parody so when the film ventures into more serious territory she still gives a very convincing and likable performance. Everyone else was fine. Chloe Bennett was one of the other big standouts as one of Julie's friends. She winds up being the main wedge between Julie and the rest of her friends who disapprove of Randy. There's a nice balance of her being hostile to Julie but not totally unlikable, just being frustrated with her friend. So she's the closest thing we get to an antagonist here. The other big standout was Mae Whitman who was also enjoyable as Randy's bandmate and she's equally upset at him for abandoning their group for Julie but she takes a much more democratic and understanding approach about it. So their interactions were kind of cute and and got some laughs. In terms of story, I think that's where the movie takes its biggest hit. Like the original Valley Girl, this is very Romeo and Juliet inspired. It's kind of love at first sight, and then from there, half the movie is spent with them proclaiming how much they love each other and how everyone's wrong for judging them. It's a little repetitive in that regard. We get a number of these scenes, and some of them just reinforce what we already know rather than advance the plot. It's all just fluff. I'd argue at times this even acts as one giant music video because there are a lot of songs here and we get them at a rapid fire pace. There are 21 songs in this movie and we get some of them one right after the other, after the other, after the other. There are a few times where you don't get a break. But I'll say this, the songs are awesome. With a few exceptions, all the covers are great and they're actually some of my favorite parts of the movie. They're all filled with the silly dancing of 80s music videos, but I'll give credit where credit's due. They're choreographed well and sung nicely. My favorites included We Got the Beat, I Can't Go For That, and Girls Just Want to Have Fun. They all kept the tone light and in good spirits and made for a fun time, so I can respect that. This movie is far from perfect, but overall, I enjoyed it. 
I need to see the original again to see how the two truly hold up against each other, but this was a good remake. Like I said, the plot is where it suffers the most, but it's got a fun, lighthearted tone, good performances, and a lot of enjoyable cover songs. Overall, it's worth a shot. Valley Girl gets a 7 out of 10. So let me know, did you see Valley Girl or are you planning to see it and what were your thoughts? Did you like the music? Did you think it was better than the original? And what's one of your favorite remakes if you have one? Let me know in the comments below and as always if you like what you see please make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you next time.